Watch you guys got another video here for you on how to boost your volume sound on Windows PCs. Now, if you've got very low sound on your computer, maybe you've got it maxed out just like you can see here, and you want to make it a little bit louder, then I'm going to show you a way how to boost and increase the sound on your Windows system. So you may also see here inside the sound settings here, everything is maxed out here. And uh, some people complain that they have very low quality audio and uh, you're very limited to what you can actually do inside Windows. Now, depending on how you receive your audio, whether it be onboard sound from a motherboard, especially if you've got a low grade motherboard, the audio on there is not going to be that great. And you can see all of this is maxed out here and it won't allow you to do much. But if you've got a really high level uh, motherboard with good audio on here, uh, then sometimes it allows you to mess around uh, with the audio a little bit more. Now, if you've got a sound card, even better still, that generally comes with its own software and gives you much more scope to uh, play with the audio settings. Now, there is a piece of software called Equalizer APO. It's free to download and use. And basically what it's going to do is allow you to manipulate the sound quality and volume inside uh, Windows 10 or any other version of Windows. The good thing about this, it also has its uh, own built-in equalizer and filters and loads of good stuff like that. So let's go ahead and download it. You can either download it from the website or from uh, SourceForge, depending on how you want to go about downloading it. It does support 64-bit and 32-bit Windows 7 all the way up to Windows 10. So get it downloaded and install it on your system. Now, word of warning, there's quite a few different pieces of hardware out there like speakers and headphones, and you may want to increase the volume on those. Be very careful and don't overdo it because you can actually damage the hardware and the speakers and also your hearing if you overdo it. Now, sometimes they recommend only a certain level of audio, and some of the headphones that you use have restrictors in them to stop you overdoing it with the audio volume. So we've got the file here uh, into a folder and we're going to extract this and then install it onto our system. So let's go ahead and click uh, next here. And we can now go, I agree to the terms and conditions. And again, we need to choose the directory where to in install uh, this. So I'm going to go through and install this onto here. Now we can configure our audio, which we want to select for our playback devices and capture devices. This is going to be all of the audio devices so monitors uh, other devices like uh, nvidia you can see here real tech uh, speakers and other things like that so select the ones that you want to select and you want to manipulate and increase and boost the audio uh, quality of and go ahead and tick those and you can do that for your capture devices as well again just be careful when you're messing around with settings like these because as i said before uh, sometimes uh, speakers come at optimal settings and certain loudness and increasing those levels above what they recommend can damage the hardware and the device so just bear that in mind just only use very small increments when uh, using this particular type of software so next up, you'll need to reboot the system. So let's go ahead and take a look here in the folder where we've installed our software. So I'm going to go ahead and go into here and go to my C drive because that's where I installed it. And I also installed it into program files. This is the default directory where it gets installed. If you installed it somewhere else, go to that directory. Look for Equalizer APO. And then we can go into that folder here. And this is where the program resides. So you can see here we've got all of our goodies inside here. You've got the uninstaller here. So if you do want to uninstall it, you can just use the uninstaller to uninstall here. Okay, so what we need to do here is we need to click on the editor.exe. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow us to uh, configure our audio. So let's go ahead and click on this one here. And up it comes. This is the actual program. You can see it's got a quite a a basic looking graphic user interface which we can now use to uh, manipulate our sound so let's take a look here we've got the numbers on the side here we've got our devices up the top this is all the devices that we selected to install and this will all be listed here so you can choose any of these to uh, start to boost 
and also enhance the sound. So let's go ahead and just choose our default speakers here, which is run by a Realtek driver. And once we've got that selected, we can then have a look at the preamplifier, which is uh, listed here. This is going to allow you to boost the gain. Now, like I said, go very, very careful uh, with the amount of gain that you're adding, because if you're already at 100 percent, you're pushing it over that 100 percent maximum. If you don't see the preamplifier here, you can click on the plus and use uh, some of the uh, presets inside here. And you'll see preamp here and you'll see some other filters in here which you can add uh, to your listings, which is for your low pass filter, high pass filter and a lot of other stuff like 15 band graphic equalizer, 31 band and a bunch of other settings inside here. You can add these in. Also, you've got your graphic equalizer here and this is your gain setting. Now you can either use the little dial in here to type in your number that you want to set it to. And you can also see the preamplification uh, dial here. Now look at the red part here. This is the amount of gain that you're adding. You don't want to be going crazy on this like 5 and 10 dB at a time because it will be very, very loud and it can damage your hardware. So be very careful uh, when you start boosting this too high. Just take small steps. And uh, I've put some information up there so you can read that as well. Now, also what you can do is once you've got this set to something that you like, you can then save it. Now, also what I want to show you here is the equalizer. You can see when I manipulate uh, the equalizer settings here, you can see it going up on the graph down below. So if you're struggling with a little bit of bass or maybe there's too much treble or you want to put a bit more midtones in, you can do that all here. And it's listed on here as well. You can see them listed all in these sections here. Now, if you look at these here, you can normalize the response. You can reset all of the response here and reset those by clicking on them and clicking reset, and it will reset them back to default. And you've got import and export here. If you have some sort of profile that you like to use, you can import those as well. And like I said, just use very small increments. And if you sometimes you may have to uh, lower the audio down, the gain down, so you can boost it up with the graphic equalizer to get a much more fuller sound. So if that's what you want to do, you can do that as well. Up the top, you've got file, save and save as. Once you've got your configure uh, set, you can save this inside here. And this will be your preset that you can use and import that anytime you want. So that's all now set. And you can do this for each device on here. Now, if you're using headphones, just be mindful of the fact that if you overdo uh, headphones and you're already at full volume, you can literally damage your eardrums. So don't go too crazy on that. You don't want too much gain and running the risk of damaging uh, your speakers or your eardrums. And also another thing to, to bear in mind that some of the headphones nowadays do have um, restrictors on them to stop that happening. So you can see here, you can add in some filters as well. And there's some uh, good filters in here, like loudness correction and other bits and pieces. You can add these into your piece of software here and allow you to get real full control of the audio as well. And once you've got this all set to the way you like it, uh, you can pretty much save this uh, config to the software and that will be your audio. And you can always go back in. So like I said, just do small changes and then keep listening to the sound uh, quality and see if it changes to your liking. And that'll be it. Now, once you've finished, if you want to uninstall and you don't like it anymore and you want to uninstall it, just go back to that folder that I showed you earlier on and literally click on uninstall and remove all the configurations and restore any sort of backups that you've done there. And it will remove it from the system. And that's pretty much it. That's basically how you can boost your volume sound in Windows 10 or any other version of Windows. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Big shout out to my YouTube members who have joined my YouTube members group. I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now.